This is a real quick uh, video on how to uh, incorporate SVG files into your HTML. I go into Adobe Illustrator first and make um, an SVG just for those of you that aren't familiar. SVG is a graphic that is vector based. Um, vector is always the best if you can get it easily. So um, When you create in Adobe Illustrator, you are creating vector graphics. So this right here is a vector graphic. I'm going to save um, the editable version of this vector at graphic, and an, uh, so the file type is AI, which is Adobe Illustrator uh, file type. I'm going to do that first. That's equivalent to Photoshop's PSD file type. Okay, so I've saved that. Now I'm going to save the SVG on the right. Down here, um, I'm going to change this to SVG. I'm not going to change any of this. I'm going to hit this and hit Optimize File Size. Hit OK. The size does not really matter. Um, because you are going, you have the capability to change that. It's going to come in this way because that's how it is, 379 by 243, even though the, the HTML image tag won't represent that. That's the size it'll come in at, but you can change it to whatever size you want and not get any pixelation. I'm hitting save. Okay, so now I have my SVG file. I'm going over to Dreamweaver. This is just a blank HTML page. All you do for that is file new. Um, I usually use these settings and this, and then I hit a, uh, then I hit create. So that's how I've got that. Insert on the menu bar, images. Uh, you've got to change right here. This is the key. You have to change this to all files. Otherwise, it will only if you keep it at the default, it will only bring up these file types. And yours is all yours is an SVG file, and it's not listed in there. So you, this is the key right here. All files. That's very important. There it is, right there. There it is. If you don't have Live View on, it you will not see it. You have to have Live View on. And you can also see it in the browser. Now let's see if it'll come up. Okay, so there it is. It'll come up now. So you can see it's an SVG file. Now let me show you the code view of this. See there's no tags in there, but it comes in at the dimensions that you saved it at. But you can change that without any pixelation. Um, so I can go down here and make this a thousand by a thousand. And that's not the same ratio, and it'll still be fine. Here's design view. Here's um, there's live view. Let me show you in the browser. Give me a minute. See, there's no pixelation. All right, let's do another one. This time I'm going to use symbol from the uh, symbol panel, just because there's some cool stuff in there, and y'all should play around with that panel in Adobe Illustrator. Um, if you pull it out like this and hit this library, there's some real cool stuff in here. Okay, um, I'm hitting up here, Edit Symbol, hit OK. I'm going to select this, change it to that gradient, select that, change it to that gradient. 
go down here and hit X to switch it to my um, stroke. I'm going to change the stroke to that, change the stroke to that, hit here to go back, file, save, file, save for web devices, changing this to SVG over here on the right, hitting save, saving as 61.svg save toggling over to Dreamweaver deleting this image out, bringing in the other going to design view, hitting insert Hitting my save first, turning live view off. Insert image. Changing this file of types to all files. The key to this whole thing is to make sure you do that, otherwise you won't see your SVG file. Hitting live view to view it. There it is. Viewing it in the browser. There it is. The gradient doesn't come across. Apparently, um, it might be that this browser doesn't recognize that gradient. That's a new uh, technique, so that it might not recognize that. Um, again, you can change it to a bigger size without any pixelation. Okay, so there's your wings. Okay, let's try another one. Y'all, I think that color's not coming in just because I used a gradient and um, this version of Firefox might not recognize that uh, coding for it. Okay, let's do another one. Going back over to Illustrator, deleting this, looking at the Symbols Panel Library in the bottom left-hand corner there's a icon for it. Let's take this and we're, this time we'll go around we're going to use some text. Setting that to about 60. I want to get something that shows up, so we'll use that. Okay. Doesn't have to be pretty, I just want it to show up for y'all. And that's just centering the logo um, onto the um, the text onto the image. And that time around, this option allows you to center it to the artboard. This allows it, you to center it to the section, so that's what I did there. Hitting save to save the master, so I can go back and edit. Now I'm doing file save for web device, changing it over here in the right hand corner to SVG, hitting save, saving this as 62, bringing that in, changing this, the key down here is to make sure you change that. have to hit live view to see it in your browser. I mean in your local browser on Dreamweaver. There it is there. Again, you can change the size without any pixelation and your text won't be pixelized either, which is nice. If you're using it for a logo, this is ideal. Hitting save. Quick key for this is F12. 
Okay, see there's no pixelation. See how nice your text comes out? That's really helpful if you're doing um, logo design. Okay, I hope this helps some people. Um, join us in the Adobe Dreamweaver forum. There's a lot of helpful information in there. And um, um, make sure you comment. If you want to see other things, be sure to ask, and I'll be glad to help you. Uh, thanks. Bye.